everyone and welcome back to another episode. I hope you guys are doing well and happy Valentine's Day. So um, I chose to spend this Valentine's Day morning not with my wife because she's still sleeping upstairs but with Lexi, uh, my brand new Model Y. So um, it is early in the morning though. I got to make her coffee and take her back, I go back to bed. But anyways, um, Really quickly, guys, I just want to talk to you guys about the last uh, 24 to 48 hours that I've actually owned this Model Y, and I am in absolute love with it, okay? It's one of the best, it is the best car that I've owned in my life, okay? And I've owned anywhere from Hondas to Acuras to uh, BMWs and Mercedes and Infinities. I just gave away my Infiniti Q50. Uh, my my love, Jasmine, sitting right over there, 2020 Velar. Uh, amazing car. I love her. Niche drives it a lot more than I do now. But, um, you know, with all that, the Model Y still takes the cake. Okay. Um, and I'm going to extinguish maybe three concerns that you have about this. Now, for those of the viewers that are watching this that may not necessarily know what the Model Y standard range is, it's basically Tesla's version of the Model 3 standard range in the Model Y. And what that means is it's a single motor that's powering the two rear wheels, okay? Now, in the Model Y lineup, there is the standard, there's a standard range, which is this one, rear wheel drive. There is the long range, and then there's also the performance. Now, the long range, if it's gonna be your only car and you wanna do road trips, and you know, I think the long range is probably the best option for you, okay? It is all wheel drive as well. So again, being, your single, being one car, on crazy snowstorms, you you have to go out. Maybe you'll be more confident driving uh, an all-wheel drive, right? I know I would. Um, but that being said, regular snowfalls, average uh, Montreal winters, winter days, Model Y is going out, no doubt in my mind, and I'll show you why. Just keep tu stay tuned. Um, speed, speed was another thing. I'm like, oh man, you know, most of the time I, I drive with the kids in the car, but sometimes I just want that. Boom, I want that explosion. I want that speed, right? And uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. My little one and my kids in general just love the speed as well. So um, I think there's a, there's a time and place for it. And if you pick and choose when and where to do it, uh, you know, let everybody enjoy uh, a fast car. This car packs a powerful punch. So don't let the model Y standard range sway you away from thinking that it doesn't have a punch, okay? I actually get pushed back on my seat and that too, stay tuned. I'll show you some of the videos of, uh, of me going zero to 100 very quickly here. Um, and then the last one is range and I'm gonna to talk to you about that first because for range, I'm gonna do it right here and I'm gonna to explain to you what I've experienced so far. So guys, smash the like button. Please show me a love, ask any questions. If I, if, I'm, if I know that this video is helping you make a better decision and an informed decision, uh, just like you know, some videos and reviews have helped me make a decision on this Model Y. Uh, then I, I, I mean, it's not about monetization for me. Monetization on YouTube is so far down the road, right? I mean, it's talking about thousands of viewers and and thousands of uh, watch hours and stuff like that. For me, this is keeping me busy during quarantine. Um, it's getting my mind off things, and it's just helping me just discover the car more, right? So, um, like, like, like it, comment, share. And um, yeah, I hope I hope you're enjoying the channel so far. So let's dive right into the range. All right, so range, 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 range is king, range anxiety. You better watch out with the standard range. Okay, so anyways, let's bury all that shit right now. So here's the thing. When I start uh, charge this car completely to 90%, um, I have 352 kilometers of range roughly, okay? So yesterday I took it out at 351 kilometers. We drove quite a bit. As you can see, this is the majority of this driving is, it was yesterday, okay? And I had zero issues. Range anxiety did not even kick in for 10 seconds, for one second, for a split second, whatever. Uh, when I came back home, I still had something like 120 kilometers left over or something, right? Or like over 30% of the battery. So, um, that was very comforting to know that. Uh, it was also minus 20 outside yesterday. So, uh, you know, uh, Cel I'm talking about Celsius here. Obviously, I live in Montreal, Canada. So minus 20 degrees Celsius, uh, which is pretty damn cold. I think that's around minus 14, minus 15 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, the car still performed really well. So I was actually expecting, and I, and I think you probably saw this on one of my first videos uh, before I even, even bought it, um, 
I was expecting about a 40 to 50% drop on the coldest days. In reality, it dropped around 25% yesterday, okay? So uh, range is not an issue for me. I'm actually very excited about it. And look at this perfect example. Every time we come back home, I've shown Nish how to charge it. I've shown the kids how to charge it. My kids are 10 and seven. Uh, they know how to charge and um, uh, you know plug in and plug out the, the wall connector. So that makes life easier for everybody. Uh, as soon as this car is back home, it's plugged in and it charges to 90% and uh, that's it, right? So every time you leave this house, it's a 90% charge. Uh, which is around 350 kilometers. So all in all, do not stress about range. Again, I, I, I can't stress the fact enough that this is our second car and whatever, if for whatever reason that we, we, we're not feeling comfortable, if for whatever reason we feel like, oh shoot, we, did, we forgot to plug it in and there's only 10% battery left, that's fine. We just jump into the gas car and, and we're on our way, okay? So um, if it is your only car, maybe the long range is the right option for you. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else? I love everything about this car. It actually does make, um, quite, oh, sorry, it also says 233 watt hours per kilometer, which is actually pretty good. That's pretty efficient, um, um, in terms of some of the numbers and stuff that I've seen. So, uh, and given that we're driving it in very cold winter days, I think that's, that's very efficient. Um, what a weird thing about this car is it makes some weird noises. Okay. Think about like, um, Think about your body just making this weird noises, right? Like your stomach just bubbles up or uh, you have to fart when there's people around and you can't. So it's like like stuff like that. And that's that's a motor and and, 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 and compressor and whatnot just, just working and, and keeping the car warm and, and stuff like that. So uh, that's a little bit weird. Uh, I, I do hear weird noises from, from Lexi, but... Um, for the most part, you know, Lexi's fine and, you know, she's she, she's she's great. I mean, I, I can't, never had a better experience with, with the car. Okay, this, this, this is actually getting a little weird. So, um, guys, like, share, uh, comment, ask questions, whatever you want. Also, I'll put my referral code down on the description below. Uh, if you are planning on buying a Tesla and if you don't have family and friends who own one, you know, um, then we both kind of benefit from uh, you using my referral code. So basically, I'll get 1500 kilometers of um, a supercharging credits, you'll get 1500 kilometers and it's a win-win situation. Hours, as I mentioned, has been quite an amazing time with this car. I really enjoy it. Um, I really think it's fantastic. And, um, you know, the controls here at first, it could be overwhelming, but, um, you know, the reality is, spend 20 minutes on it and you'll know exactly where 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 everything is it's uh, super easy uh, super fast to learn um, I don't think the learning curve is that as complicated as some uh, some folks make it seem but again maybe if you have issues working your cell phone or you know you're not that comfortable with technology maybe this is not the car for you because yes there is a lot to learn considering that everything happens here but, uh, I mean, if you're an average person uh, that knows how to use a smartphone well, um, I don't think you're gonna have any issues navigating the screen. Uh, Tesla's made it, it, made it quite user-friendly. It's, uh, uh, I mean, the experience is awesome for me, okay? But keep in mind, I'm also in technology. I'm in digital, that's what I do for work. And uh, it's all about creating like seamless user experiences and customer experiences for us and you know tesla kind of hits the nail on the head in uh, in every angle okay so here's my acceleration check this out i'm at one kilometer we'll stop and now we're gonna go how do you like that baby that was cool, right? That was pretty fast. Yeah. So uh, again, this is a 50 road, so I don't want to be speeding, but I just wanted to kind of show you that even with the standard range, um, you are going to have that kick, you are going to have that power, and you are going to have that speed more than I need, to be honest. I'm like, don't get me wrong, I love fast cars, but again, at the sa same time, half the time my family is in here, okay? The it was so fast that it went to 100. Yeah, it went to 100 pretty fast, right? Yeah. That actually seemed like it was even faster than 5.6 seconds, but um, you know, have, most of the time I want to have my kids and my, my, my wife in here. I'm not looking to 
drive fast, right? But given that this car seriously packs a punch, so don't think if it's standard range, oh, it's probably not going to be fast enough for me. It is fast. Uh, so don't let that scare you away from purchasing this car, okay? And the beautiful part is the torque. When you're going like 60 kilometers an hour already and you want to you wanna jump on a highway and, and take that to 100, that's where you see that instant torque like just literally just get you. Um, and that's a great feeling too. So. Oh yeah. yeah. So let's see. So pretty snow covered. I, I'm hoping you guys see it. I think you do, yeah. So it's uh, this place is pretty snow covered. We're gonna just see how the braking reacts, okay? So let's just say we're gonna go to for starters zero to twenty, and I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the brakes. Okay, so you see it's actually slipping. Okay, the rear wheels are slipping. I feel that, and I'm gonna hit the brakes, and it stopped. Okay, cool. And we're gonna, so again, look, this is a regular start. How you would normally drive. I'm gonna do the same thing. And again, slip start is off here, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna gun it now. I'm just literally putting my foot down all the way, okay? Here goes. So let's try to compensate. But all in all, uh, super, super uh, awesome handling. Um, I mean, I've n not for a moment did I feel like, you know, I was gonna lose control of the car. I mean, even when it slipped under me, uh, a split second after the car caught itself, right? Uh, so you didn't feel like you were fish killing out of control or anything like that. I don't even know if, if you wanna drift. If, like, look, I'm gonna try and drift a little bit here with this car. But, okay, there you go. So we're turning a little bit, but it it's it's just so smart. Like the, the, the software is just catching the wheels and letting them compensate when, when it slips. So, well, that was a really interesting test. I'm glad we found that uh, patch of snow. And uh, now let's uh, drive fast. 